Hi, my name is Guru. I will be your guide for unit Ohm's law. Ohm's law states that in any electrical closed circuit, the current, that is I, is directly proportional to the voltage V and it is inversely proportional to the resistance R at constant temperature. I is equal to V oblique R. Electrical power P energy E. Electrical power. The product voltage V and current I is called electrical power. Electrical power P is equal to voltage into current P is equal to V into I. The unit of electrical power is what? It is denoted by the letter P. It is measured by what meter? Electrical energy. Electrical energy, the product of power P and time T is called as electrical energy E. E is equal to P into T. E is equal to V into I into T. The unit of electrical energy is watt R, WH. The commercial unit of electrical energy is kilowatt R. Kirchhoff's law. First law. Kirchhoff's current law. The algebraic sum of currents flowing towards a junction in an electric circuit is zero. Incoming currents is equal to outgoing currents. This law is based on the conversation of charge I1 plus I2 minus I3 minus I4 minus I5 is equal to zero. Number of KCL equation is equal to N minus 1. N is equal to number of nodes. Second law. Kirchhoff's voltage law. This law relates to EMFs and voltage drops in a circuit and is sometimes called voltage law. In any closed circuit or mesh, the algebraic sum of all the electromotive forces at the voltage drops is equal to zero. This law is based on conservation of energy. Number of KVL equation is equal to E minus N plus 1 is equal to KVL, where N is equal to number of nodes, E is equal to number of elements on the circuit. DC series and parallel circuits. Series circuits. If more than one resistor are connected one by one like a chain, and if the current has only one path, the current will be the same at any point of the series circuit. Parallel circuits. In an electrical circuit, if the current has more than one path and equal voltage in each branch. In this circuit, individual branch resistance offer opposition to the current flow through the voltage across the branch will be the same. Open and short circuit. Short circuit. This circuit is a path of O or very low resistance compared to the normal circuit resistance. Effect due to short circuit. Access current due to short circuit can damage the circuit component. Power source or burn the insulation of connecting wire. Open and short circuit in series. Open in series circuit. An open circuit results whenever a circuit is broken or is incomplete and there is no continuity in the circuit. Causes for open and series circuit. Open circuit normally happen due to improper contacts of switches, burnt out fuses, breakage in connection wires, and burnt out resistors, etc. Effect of open in series circuit. No current flow in the circuit. No device in the circuit will function. Total supply voltage source. Voltage appear across the open.
open and short circuit in parallel. Short circuit in parallel. A parallel circuit will short between points A and B. This causes reduction of circuit resistance almost to zero. Therefore, the voltage drops across AB will be almost zero. The result is that a very high current in the order of 100 times of the normal current will flow through the short circuit. Short circuit may cause burning of the circuit elements like cable switches etc. Open in parallel circuit An open in common line at point A as shown in figure causes no current flow in that circuit whereas an open in the branch at point B causes no current flow only in that branch. Full voltage of source will be available at open circuit terminals. It is dangerous to meddle with the terminals which are open. Now you all know the concept relating to Ohm's law.